Hey, I thought I would share with you my full nighttime routine for natural hair. So I've had my hair up in a puff. I had a roller set in and it was stretched out and I just put it up into a puff. So every couple of days I will really restyle my hair. But typically if my puff was a bit neater, I could keep it for another day. So I'm just going to break my hair down slowly. I've just created a parting for where I'm going to restyle my hair and I'm just gently picking it apart. I'm not finger detangling here. So once a week at night, I like to massage my scalp. So I'm getting my oil mix and I am dotting that all around my hair, especially focusing on my edges and nape because those are the weakest parts of my hair. I really encourage you guys to try scalp massages because they really stimulate growth. Something that I'm so excited about is the VP Scalp Massager. I've wanted one for ages. They've got really nice, soft, flexible bristles. And of course, the vibrating motor is going to encourage more growth, stimulate growth, and really help in my scalp massage routine. So I use it on sections of my hair and I move it in circular motions to really help the blood carry oxygen and rush to my scalp, which stimulates growth. So I just work that through, going section by section, really gently. And I, of course, use the scalp massager in my wash days, particularly on co-wash days, because this helps to break down dandruff and remove dirt as well. So when I'm co-washing, because it's a gentle cleanse, using the scalp massager really helps to break it down and ensure that my scalp is nice and clean. It is water resistant, so it's perfect to use in the shower, though I do switch off the shower in between cleansing. And of course, I have got us a discount code. Use the code ZIG for 50% off, so your scalp massage will only be $20. Definitely get yourself one, guys. It cuts the middleman right out. Once I'm done massaging my scalp, if my hair is particularly dry, I will go into the lock method. So I use a leave-in conditioner. This one's by Shea Butter Cottage. It's really, really super moisturizing. It's got loads of great ingredients in there. So I will spray it at first, particularly focusing on my ends because that's the driest part of the hair and that's the part that's been exposed to the atmosphere. And then I will spray the rest of my hair, working it through and really massaging it into the hair to help soften it, lubricate it and encourage moisture to stay in my hair. So I'll just work that leave-in conditioner through to make sure that all of my strands are covered, but I only particularly do this if my hair is feeling really, really parched. Otherwise, I'll go straight into my regular moisturizing routine. What's great about moisturising my hair with a leave-in conditioner first means that my hair will be nice and supple and easy to work through. So once I've done that, I will go ahead and part my hair into sections that I'm going to style with. Now because my hair is already stretched, I can just go ahead and use really large parts. If my hair was freshly washed, I would use smaller parts to encourage my hair to stretch. Starting with the MVP, my restorative conditioner from Shea Moisture. Just use about a 50 pence amount per section and I'm massaging that through, focusing on the ends, really making sure all the strands are covered. Then I go in to seal that moisture in with my Shea Butter Mix. Again, loads of incredible ingredients in here, really moisturizes and conditions the hair from within and locks in that moisture. From there, I will go ahead and decide whether I'm doing twists or bantu knots, but tonight I'm going to do my classic braid out because it just keeps my hair the most stretched and is the easiest one to do, I find. So I'm just going to braid that section, really large sections to stretch it back out. Don't finger detangle because ain't nobody got time for that. But if I find really large knots in the section, I will work through it. But other than that, I'm not finger detangling. I'm just applying my moisturizer and sealing it in and braiding. 
I usually finger detangle on wash days. So that's all I do section by section, applying my conditioner, which is my main moisturizer, and sealing it in with my shea butter mix. And this method really keeps my hair nice and moisturized for at least three days. I try to moisturize my hair every two days though, just to make sure it stays lubricated. So once that's done, I have about seven braids in total. Over time, I can even lessen that amount as well and just have two big braids at the back. And I, of course, go ahead and use a silk scarf or a satin bonnet of some kind to encourage my strands to glide past each other and keep that moisture in the hair. So it stops any tangling, especially if you do any pineapples, it stops any tangling or drying out from rubbing up against your cotton pillowcase. I really tie mine in whatever way I feel comfortable, depending on the night. Like I change it every time, but today I've decided to tie it at the front and then I tuck any loose material in. I just roll it up at the back. And that is my full nighttime routine. So I can go to bed happy, my hair won't dry out, and I can take my braids down the next day and have a fierce braid out. I hope this video has helped you guys. Don't forget to get your VP Scalp Massager 50% off using the code ZIG. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.